Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary, groundbreaking icon theme for iOS 7 is finally here, and it looks absolutely stunning, as you can see from my iPhone right here. Uh, this is a landmark benchmark theme for Winterboard. If you've heard of Icon before, you, you probably already know about it anyway, but it is the theme that brings you the retina icons, the insanely detailed, obsessively designed app icons that just go far beyond the Call of Duty, far beyond what's even necessary. And, and these things just look gorgeous. Now, Icon for iOS 7 is a little different and it, it, a lot of work had to be put into this because you know, iOS 7 was such a drastic departure from iOS 6. So everything's been re-engineered from the ground up to work with iOS 7. Everything's been optimized to look good on iOS 7. So that, of course, includes all of these stock application icons that you find in iOS. It includes things like Messages and Mail and Safari, all of those stock app icons. But not only all the stock, you also get a lot of third-party application support as well. And another thing I should mention is not just about the icons. For instance, here in the Messages app, the message bubbles have been meticulously redesigned to have that icon feel. So this is the old school bubbles right here, the, or the iOS 7 bubbles, you see that? Notice the detail, the detail is subtle, the change is subtle, but notice the detail. Now here is what it looks like on iOS 7 with icon installed. You see the bubbles are a little more squared off. Uh, you get those little dots to the right of each bubble. Uh, so it's a very subtle difference, but it's there. And that's sort of icons MO. Outside of the app icons, you're not gonna notice this huge change, but there are some subtle differences that you'll notice when you go through here. Now, what about the application icons that haven't been touched? Do they, do they just get left out and look like the stock iOS 7? Well, no, you see the difference here. You get the shadow, the auto app mask applies to all the application icons. Even if there hasn't been a specific app icon designed for your application, you're still gonna notice a difference. They're, they're still gonna fit in with the overall icon theme. And once you install Icon, you'll want to go into Winterboard and enable these four options. You see you have the Docs, Springboard, Status Bar, and Messages. So those are the four areas that are touched. The Springboard is your icons, the Docs the Doc, obviously. You have Status Bar at the top. And this is what the Status Bar looks like with Icon. Notice the difference in the Wi-Fi signal, the little dot below. And then you also have your old school signal bars back. So that is really, really nice. Uh, for those of you who hate those new Fingle designed signal bars, you're gonna love Icon. You're also gonna love Icon for its dock. And this honestly is probably one of my favorite parts, if not my favorite part of Icon for iOS 7. The dock looks so much better in my opinion with Icon than it does with stock iOS 7. It makes the devices look taller. It just seems like it gives you more room, more breathing room. It's not this bar taking up the entire bottom of your screen. Now the last little goodie we'll discuss for Icon for iOS 7 are the wallpapers. You get nine, yes, count them, nine different wallpapers. And these aren't just some wallpapers that have been thrown into the pot just to, for the sake of saying, hey, I gave you nine different wallpapers, pay me. No, these wallpapers were obviously designed with the app icons in mind, obviously designed with the status bar and the dock in mind. These things were thought about, folks. And you can tell when you actually enable one of these wallpapers with the rest of icon, you could tell that it was all part of the plan. But what if you hate skeuomorphism? It's this easy. Disable Springboard in Winterboard and voila. I, I a well-documented skeuomorphism hater. Um, so even though I think Icon looks beautiful, I think the, the icons are very well designed, I'm still not sold on skeuomorphism and I like iOS 7 stock icons. But I also prefer to use the other facets of this theme instead of stock iOS 7. So what I choose to do is just disable the app icons for Icon and use all the other parts of this theme. If you want to try out Icon, it should be available right now on Cydia's Big Boss repo. It is $2.99 for new users. For those of you who already own Icon on iOS 6, it is a free update. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.